Hi and welcome to a Unity tutorial on lights. A good lighting is very important for a good looking game. The aesthetics of your game may change depending on how you have configured your lights. Unity offers many pre-built lights that you can use directly in your game and you can also create your own custom light using emissive materials. We'll be seeing how you can use both the pre-built lights and the custom lights to affect the objects in your game. So any default unity scene comes with a direction light. So if you go ahead and add a 3D object inside your game, say let's add a plane. So you can see that the plane is already lit in white in color. If there is no light available, the plane should actually be dark. So if you remove the direction light, so you can see even after removing the direction light, there is some light coming from the environment. Now if you want a complete dark scene, then you have to go to window, rendering, lighting and then go to the environment and make sure the skybox material is set to null and environment lighting is set to color and set the color to black so this way there will be no lighting in the scene so now if you switch on the directional light you can see there is some light on the plane and this light is only coming from the directional light basically there are two types of light in unity one is a direct light and the other is the indirect light now the directional light that is falling on the plane is falling directly from the light source. If the light falling on the object is falling after getting reflected from any other surface, then it will be called indirect light. Now there are some features that you can adjust in your light. For example, you can change the color. So I can make it red in color. Then I can set the mode to real time, mixed or baked. When the mode is set to real time, the light calculation is done every frame. When it is set to mixed, the light calculation for the dynamic object is done every frame and for the static object it is taken from the light map and when you're setting it to baked all the light calculations are taken from the light map which is baked before the game starts the intensity you can increase the intensity to any number depending on how intense you want the light to be then you can also do an indirect multiplier basically indirect multiplier value controls how much contribution this light has to the global illumination then you can set the shadows created by this light. The soft shadows take up more performance and the hard shadows take up less performance. If you don't want shadows from a particular light, then you can basically disable this by selecting no shadows. And if you selected the type of shadow, then you can do the quality settings from the real time shadow settings here. The halo and the flare setting is useful if you're using the directional light as a sun in your game. Then if you, if you don't want your light to affect some of the objects, then you can put them in a particular layer and then remove that layer from the culling mask. So these are the basic settings of light. The other pre-built lights in Unity are basically spot, point and area. But area light is baked only. That means you cannot use it in real time. So if you select a spot light, we can see that a spot light is being shown here. So I'll just rotate. So light is coming up only in that spot. And if you go ahead with a point light, it is basically dissipating light in 360 degree, whereas in case of a spotlight, it is only in a particular direction. So if you're using URP, then you'll also have 2D lights. So we'll do a separate video on the 2D lights. If you want to use those 2D lights, you have to use the URP render pipeline. And if, you, if you're already in URP, then in the light settings, you'll also have a 2D light option here. Since I'm not in URP, that option is not available for me. Now these are pre-built light inside Unity. There's another option of creating your own custom light using MSA material. Now I'm going to remove the direction light and I'm going to add a sphere to the game. Let me reset the position of both plane and the sphere. And I'll move the sphere a little bit to the top, something like this, okay. So we'll add the emissive material to the sphere and we'll see how it affects the plane. So before you can add the emissive material, you need to create it. So just right click in your project window, go to create and go to material. Let's call it emissive mat. With the material selected in your project window, you will have an emission option here. So make sure you check that. Now you can set the color of the emission. So let's just set it to maybe uh, orange.
change the color yep and global illumination can be set to baked or real time let it be to baked you can also adjust the strength of the emission so in the older version of unity there was a strength option here in the new version of unity the strength is moved inside the color so you'll have an intensity option here so just increase it so we can maybe set it to 1.5 yeah. now let's just assign the material to the sphere so drag this and assign it to the sphere so you can see that the sphere is now glowing but the sphere is not actually affecting the plane now baked light will only affect static objects so you need to select the plane and set it to static and after you set the plane to static you need to bake the lighting for that you have to go to window rendering lighting and it's better when you're doing this you can just take the lighting tab and put it near your inspector so you'll have all the options and you'll be able to see the scene first thing is to create a new lighting setting so just click on new lighting setting the reason for creating a new lighting setting is you'll be able to save this and you'll be able to use the same lighting setting in another scene you can also check the auto generate option if you're going to make modification to the scene and whenever there's a change detected unity will automatically regenerate the light map now for the first time when you're doing it you can just click on generate lighting so it will say you have to save the scene i've not saved the scene so let me save it and i'm going to call this as light tutorial i'll save it inside my scenes folder and you can see here that unity is trying to generate the lighting and it will take some time depending on your pc's hardware so if you have a newer high-end device it will take very less time and if you have an old generation laptop then it might take a lot of time after generating the light map uh, nothing happened that is because you have to select your sphere and make sure the contribute global illumination is checked and without that it will basically not affect anything other than itself so after checking that you have to again regenerate the lighting so let's go ahead and generate it So this is how you can create your own custom light in any shape that you want. So if you want a flat surface, you can add a plane and add an emissive material to it. The one thing that you have to keep in mind about emissive material is after baking the light, if you add a dynamic object, for example, if you add a plane or a sphere, say let's add a cube maybe. So this cube is not set as static and the light is not baked. So the light coming out of your emissive material will not affect a dynamic object. So for that, you'll have to use light probes. So we'll be making a complete separate tutorial for the light probes also. So hope this video gave you the basics of Unity Light. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. You can also read our blog post with more details on Unity Light. The link is there in the description. Thank you and see you again in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.